Welcome to I Question PH. Our today's question is How to subtract whole numbers with regrouping? Subtraction by regrouping is also called barrowing. Let's study this example. Subtract 2,847 from 7,425. To subtract numbers with more than one digit, we have to write down the bigger number first and the smaller number directly below it. Make sure to arrange them in columns according to their place value. Let's now start subtracting from the ones place. 5 minus 7. As you can see, the minuend is smaller than the subtrahend. That is where regrouping or borrowing comes in. We will borrow from the tens place. We will regroup two tens as one ten and ten ones. We will then borrow a group of ten from the tens place. So now ten ones plus five ones is fifteen ones. Digit 2 in the tens place will now become 1. Let us next subtract 7 ones from 15 ones. 15 minus 7 is 8. Then we will subtract the digits in the tens place. 110 is less than 410. So let's borrow again, this time from the hundreds place. Regroup 400s as 300s and 10 tens. We will borrow a group of 10 from the hundreds place. Now 10 tens plus 110 is 11 tens. Digit 4 in the hundreds place will now become 3. Subtract 4 tens from 11 tens. 11 minus 4 is 7. Let's proceed to the hundreds place. 300s minus 800s. Because the minuend is not enough again, we will regroup or borrow from the thousands place. The digit in the thousands place is 7. When regroup, it will become 6,000s and 10 hundreds. We will borrow its group of 10. 10 hundreds plus 3 hundreds is 13 hundreds. Digit 7 in the thousands place now becomes 6. We will then subtract 8 hundreds from 13 hundreds. The difference is 500. The last column is the thousands place. 6,000 minus 2,000. This time, we don't need to regroup the numbers. The difference is 4,000. Therefore, 2,847 when subtract from 7,425 is 4,578. 
And that was how subtraction with regrouping is done. Remember that we only borrow when the minuend is smaller than the subtrahend. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time.